How do I zoom out so far? I see this comment a lot, so I'll explain that first. The easiest thing to do is to go into your options and enable the higher zoom levels if you haven't done so already. The next thing you can do is increase your resolution. Yeah, Project Zomboid is one of those cursed games that don't scale properly with resolution. There is a cost to this as it makes the closest zoom farther away as well. So I've switched to 4K from 1080p and this is the closest I can zoom in now. But what I lose here is gained by the fact that I can now see double the distance while zoomed out. In fact, it's so broken that when I start scouting around, I can see past the loaded in part of the game. Check out that bottom left corner as I run to see it popping in. Back to camera controls, and you may have noticed you can no longer scout with combat stance while in a car. You can still do it by going into the keybind settings and binding a key to pan camera. The devs also added in an automatic camera pan that you can turn on in the display settings called pan camera while driving. What this does is when you get up to a certain speed and zoom out, it'll pan the camera ahead of the car. Just remember that you need to stay zoomed out or it will center itself again. The next step is how to get the zombie outline with your melee weapons. Once again in display settings, change the aim outline option to any weapon and now you get a nice outline to show you which zombie you're aiming at or when you're in range. If you're looking for just a little bit more FPS, you can set your lighting quality to lowest. It makes the shading have hard lines instead of blending in. But there is a problem with it, as it'll make some objects that should be transparent turn solid, which can hide zombies from view. The next set of tips are to remember to check your keybinds. If you have trouble with the game attacking the wrong zombie, you can turn off auto detect prone or standing attack and manually press left alt to do ground attacks. Just remember, left alt by default is also the sprint key, so if you try to quickly reposition, you could be sprinting into a wall. Another annoying key conflict is the V key both hiding the UI and being the primary vehicle interaction key. If you just want to get into the vehicle stats, you can press U, but I'd recommend rebinding the UI key to something else. 